Hello everyone, welcome back to Maker Mindset. On this video, we are going to do our first test print, which will help us fine-tune the bed leveling procedure we have done in the previous video. So, let's begin! Finally, we are doing our first test print. And the first thing that you need to do before a print job is to clean up the bed. So, we need to manually raise the gantry. Now you pick up a lint-free cloth, but you know what? A paper towel will do just fine. And a small spray bottle with isopropyl alcohol. I got this little bottle from a travel kit that I purchased on a 99 cent store. The cleanup process should take place before switching the printer on. You spray the alcohol on the print surface and wipe it off with the cloth. Now pick up the micro SD card reader and take out the SD card that we prepared on the previous video. And here on the Ender 3 Pro, you should insert the micro SD card with the copper traces facing up. Now push the SD card until you feel like it clicked. Now you can switch the printer on. What we need to do here is to heat up the nozzle and the bed so that we can print with the PLA filament that came with the printer. And as I hope you can remember from the previous video, you first have to select Control on the main menu option here in order to adjust the temperatures in our printer. We're going to start with the print nozzle because it takes longer to heat up. We're going to set it to 200 because that's the recommended temperature for printing with PLA. And we are going to raise the temperature of the bed to 60 Celsius for the same reason. Now let's go back to the info screen. It takes like 2 minutes for the printer to heat up. Now it's time to feed the filament to the printer. And we are going to use the PLA filament sample that came with the printer. Since it doesn't come on a spool, we are just going to hang the roll on the spool holder. Let's pick up this end of the filament roll. And in order to facilitate the process of inserting the filament through the extruder, we are going to have to cut the tip of the filament in an oblique angle. Now you turn the filament this way. There is a little brass colored hole here on the side of the extruder and that's where we need to insert the filament. Now you press the tension lever that will allow us to push the filament through the extruder without any resistance. Now you keep pushing the filament until it goes through the entire bolding tube, through the hot end and starts coming out through the nozzle. Now you need to clean up any filament line or blob that came out through the nozzle while making sure that you don't get burned. Now, back into the menu, set the printer to home. Now we need to load the G-code file that we want to print. We'll start by selecting this main menu option, Print from TF. TF stands for TransFlash, which is just another name for Secure Digital Cards, SD cards. Now you select the single layer G-code file, which should appear at the top of the list. The printer should start printing as soon as we select the file. And now that we have begun to print, I need to show you two important options. The pause print and the stop print. If for any reason you need to interrupt the printing process, do your best to resist the urge to switch off the printer. Instead, use one of these two options. 
You should by now know that it's never a good idea to switch off the printer while it's hot, as we talked about in the previous video. You can see that at the beginning, the printer draws a line around the objects that we are printing. This line is called a skirt, and it's on by default on Cura. If the skirt sticks to the print surface, that means that our print job should go through successfully. If you can clearly see that the skirt is not sticking to the print surface on any of the corners, you can pause the print and slightly adjust the knob for that corner. Since this is going to be our first printing after bed leveling, you should be paying close attention throughout the entire printing process. Although this is going to be a single layer printing job, it is good practice to always pay close attention to any of your printing jobs, at least until the first layer is finished. Now we need to do a manual filament retraction. So, as soon as the printing job is over, and while the hot end is still hot, you should go behind the printer, press the tension lever, now push the filament a little bit, then pull it out about 3 quarters of an inch or 20 millimeters. In the future, we can set up Cure to automatically add a retraction command at the end of our G-code files, but for the time being, we have to do this manually. Now we have to wait until the temperature of the nozzle goes below 50 degrees Celsius, and then we can switch off the printer. At the risk of being accused of stating the obvious, I'm going to talk a little bit about the spatula. The spatula that came with my printer has this 38 mm writing on the handle, but only on one side. That's going to help us to find out which is the right side to use our spatula. You see, the blade of the spatula was sharpened, but only on one side. And that's the same side of the 38 mm writing on the handle, at least on my spatula. Check on yours to make sure that you have the right side. On my case at least, the writing on the handle of the spatula should be facing up when I'm scraping off my printings. I just want to say one other thing about the spatula. The spatula is pretty sharp, so when you are scraping off your printings, never leave your other hand in front of the spatula. Your other hand should be holding the bed and always behind the spatula. Here we can already see that our bed leveling adjustments should have been a little tighter. At least on this corner, the skirt didn't stick very well to the print bed. Yep, the heart looks pretty bad. The print bed was too far from the nozzle on this corner. A clear sign of this is that the filament lines didn't merge with each other. The star on the center of the bed seems to be in a better shape. Eh. At least half of it. <laughs> hey, the heart on this corner is in a much better shape. Looks like I have my work cut out for me before I can claim that this printer is properly leveled. Okay, so let's do a very quick bed leveling procedure. Done. Now we don't even need to switch off the printer. We just need to raise the temperature of the nozzle from 170 to 200 in order for us to do another test print. 
Now we need to push the filament into the hot end once again. Clean up the nozzle. Set the printer to home. Then we need to select the same file again and begin printing. Now this heart looks better. The star looks perfect. This other heart too. I think that everything looks good. It's official now. I can safely state that the print bed is perfectly level. That's it for now, but let me tell you what is coming next week. We'll do our first real prints and we'll wrap it up. So now, go down in the comment section and drop a little note. I love to read your feedbacks, your suggestions, and some of you made a couple of corrections that were very helpful. If you want to support the channel, now we have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. And don't forget to leave your likes, they are very important for the channel. And I want to ask you a favor, please, 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 don't forget to subscribe. This channel cannot be monetized until it reaches 1000 subscribers. Here is the registration button. If you want to watch the rest of this series, you can click on this link here on the top. And at the bottom, you have a video that the YouTube algorithm thinks will be the best fit for you. So, bye bye now.